check to see how much money they made while while your videos were claimed by them. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> After, I want a dollar and fifty six cents. Well, I'll take that and check, please. Yeah. A big check. Happy Gilmore style. Yeah. I, I was just gonna ask, was it like a deal where um you're you're because I've heard this happening to other people where they upload a video and because their own voice matches it thinks that um it's something that's copyrighted. So what you it was like um it's something that's copyrighted. So what you it was like you're copy you're claiming your own shit. Is that what you mean? Yeah, it was basically that because like I said, um screen, screen wave, wave. everything to content. ID, right? right? The mm -hmm. So ID. as soon as they unlinked me from the network, it no longer recognized that I was the dude that owned that content. So it kind of was like my own content was claiming itself. Gotcha. That's what yeah. I get. Here's what makes this shitty: is that these would be the ways that you find out. Not from yeah. them. It would be you look onto your fucking channel. You can't monet. None of the videos can be monetized because they're all claimed. And you have an email from another party in YouTube. Mm -hmm. you're not being told shit by them and it, again two years uh apparently been good for two years everything rocking and rolling for two years no problems yeah i mean we had one hiccup uh early in the first year uh that i had there was a disagreement where for some reason the owner of the network thought i wanted to leave and so he disconnected me um but we were able to work through that particular misunderstanding but ever since then, it's been fine. Like anytime I have a copyright strike or a claim or something, they're able to help me get out of it. And any kind of false flags and stuff, they were able to remove those. So it's been nothing but great. Um, I know a lot of people like to shit on MCNs, but for the most part, until this shit, my experience with ScreenWave has been, you know, pretty good. Things just all of a sudden went to shit. Yeah. You know, one one to fucking shit. internet troll threatens them. And, uh, it's like fuck you, dog. <laughs> so did they call the cops? That's I, th I think that's my biggest thing. Like, why wouldn't they call, just call the fucking cops? Yeah, that was my question. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Why are you catching the penalty? It's what that that's what's going to come off as bothersome to a lot of people, man. Yeah, and uh, I I don't know. I don't know if they contacted the cops. Like, I just wasn't interested in talking to them uh, anymore because, like, I kept telling them um, when I was talking to my channel manager, I'm like, it would have been nice to get some kind of warning ahead of time. And he just wanted to talk about other things. And I'm just kind of like, um, are we just going to ignore the fact that you didn't notify me ahead of time? And so I was just like, we're, I don't want to have this conversation. Just fuck it. I, I just ended with, because uh, um, I have an anxiety disorder. So when this shit happened, like I went into full on panic attack mode. Yeah, so I was like, you guys I gave me I, I told him, so you guys gave me a panic attack. So again, thanks for the heads up. Super appreciated. And that was the last message I sent them because I was just like, I don't even want to talk to these fucking people right now. You're trying to be like, what's the deal with this? And like, yeah, but you know, this, this, and this. Said, no, I'm, yeah, I, I understand. Especially yeah. you've been up all night. You've been mm -hmm. up all night. You don't, you're not in the mood for this shit. I don't, I don't blame <laughs> no. you. No. I, I would not be in the mood for it. So, but yeah, uh, some of them, uh, I, I won't mention any names because like some of these people, you know, I was really cool with them or whatever, but yeah. some of the, like one particular employee of the network has reached out to me and he's trying to uh, guilt me this morning. Oh, now the office is getting more threats because you reached out to Keemstar and your okay. old channel manager. He's scared right now. And Jeez. it's just like, come on, man. I, well, you didn't do that. This could have been all avoided. Like all I, for me. All I would have wanted was an email at least letting me know, hey, we're reviewing a few things and we're considering dropping you from the network. Just wanted to give you a heads up. This may happen. Or even, I don't even give a fuck if it was five minutes before I got the email from YouTube. Hey, just giving you a heads up. We got to drop you because of this meme troll shit. And if that would have happened, I would have just been like, well, okay, it was nice working with you guys. Uh, it's kind of a bummer that it came to this. But uh, hey, you know, we'll just move on and best of luck to you guys. Yeah. Um, but the whole not giving me any warning thing, that's what really pissed me off. They um their contracts only um last uh three months. That way that if you ever want to leave, you know, you're not locked in for too long. Uh that's one of the benefits of their network is you're not locked in for very long if you join. Um and yeah, they expect uh, a two week notice if you're gonna leave. Um, yeah, yeah, but so. fuck you, you don't get a notice. No, it's I, I don't I, I don't even get an email telling me it happened. At the time it happened, I got to find out through YouTube. 
That's the other weird thing. There's not even a notice that it happened. Not that it's going to happen. There was no notice that it happened. So far. I, this I honestly was done and like, over with by the time you found out about it, right? Yeah, I honestly feel like if I hadn't reached out to them, because I, I was on my way to go to bed. I feel like if I would have went to bed and, you know, gone to sleep, I would have woke up to this in the morning and they wouldn't have said a word until I reached out to them. The only reason I got a response is because I started asking around on Twitter, Hey, what's going on? And then I sent them that DM on discord. What's going on, man? What's up with my, uh, my channel and all these claims and shit. And that's when he finally told me, Oh yeah, we, we had to remove you from the network. But if I didn't say anything, I honestly feel like they wouldn't have said anything. No. They, they would have let it roll. Just let it happen. <laughs> what, what did they think was going to happen? I was just going to wake up to my channel, no longer uh, monetize and shit, and not wonder what the fuck happened? I don't know what they were uh, gunning for. Maybe you wouldn't say anything. I don't Maybe just uh, discourage you that much to where you just tap out. I don't fucking know what the plan was. Uh, obviously, you were going to say something about it. Yeah, I mean, my whole channel lately is exposing people who do shady shit. You think I'm not going to expose my MCN? For doing something really fucking stupid? Come on, man. Something shady to you? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What, what are you? What are they doing? Why? Why would they think that you wouldn't? Say, I don't know. And they're they reached out to you to discourage you from saying anything already this morning. Like this is a very young situation. Yeah, they couldn't yeah, hit happened. you up to tell you that it happened, but they've already hit you up to let you. Hey, could you? Could you not? Yeah, like they. It it, it barely happened around like eight thirty last night. That's when all this shit went down. So, I like how their response to Keemstar was just high. Yeah. Well, the uh, the president of the company he reached out to Keem too, and I guess uh, Keem had a conversation with them. But I don't I don't know what they talked about. I guess I'll have to wait till the drama alert goes live to see what they said. I mean, the worst thing the worst thing they can say about me is that they told me to stop talking to talking about him, and I didn't. Mm. You know, which fuck that. I mean, if somebody's going to talk shit about me, I'm not just going to sit there and let people believe. Oh, Tipser didn't say anything in response to Meme Troll. Maybe what Meme Troll said was true. You know what I mean? Fuck that. I'm going to defend myself. Mm. Do you think, <clears throat> Especially, uh... like I said, because I have evidence to defend myself and show that everything he said was false. You know, another thing being suggested is that they might be trying to go uh, with the excuse of, well, they they are trying to just have people who do the retro gaming thing. And mm -hmm. since you did this, this is like over a certain number of videos you're allowed to do on something else. Is there anything like that in the contract? Uh, honestly, I haven't been able to find my contract. I have it somewhere. I might be on like another hard drive for one of my old computers or something, but I know I have a copy of it somewhere. I got to dig it up at some point. Uh, is I mean, anybody not, not that it really like matters that? <clears throat> not that it really matters if i could find some kind of stipulation where they kind of fucked me over and then i can get back in the network i don't want back in the network so it's like i don't even know if i care to look that much no i understand I mean, I well no saying, but i didn't yeah. know if that was a term in there or not that you had to do this like you're only allowed to make this many non-gaming videos i don't know uh, contracts are fuckity <clears throat> what well, yeah what i, I was like, what I was going to say is, it, it's a, I mean, they really cost you money here. So if they broke the contract somehow in, in a way that they were not supposed to break the contract and that cost you money, that's absolutely grounds for a lawsuit. That's what it's for. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, for sure.